Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we are back at the Disneyland Resort. We are, to be more specific, we're at DCA. Uh, so I did a live stream, I think it was like, maybe like a month ago or so, and one of you guys asked me if I could make a video on like what you can and can't bring to Disneyland. Uh, and so I decided to make the video. That's why I'm doing this for you guys because I feel like that would be a, a very helpful video for you guys. So now while they don't have like a list on the Disneyland website of what you can bring, they do have a list of what you can't bring. So if you go to the website, you'll see this and then it'll give you like a whole list of prohibited items and then after we go through all the stuff that you can bring I'll go ahead and uh, tell you guys some of the things I think you guys could bring that, that could be useful for the day and um, so yeah let's go ahead and get started so the first thing on the list is firearms ammunition knives and weapons of any kind yeah just don't bring any type of weapons if it looks like a weapon if it's sharp even if it's a keychain pepper spray any of that stuff do not bring it because they will have you throw it away or they'll send you back to your car so you can put it away so just don't even bring it don't waste your time no weapons trust me you're at Disneyland you're safe <laughs> so don't even worry about it so second thing on the list is self-defense or restraining devices examples are pepper spray mace uh, like I mentioned don't bring pepper spray self-defense or restraining devices would be like uh, handcuffs don't bring handcuffs don't bring I guess zip ties is a good one too don't bring any of that just so, you know, they, won't, they don't question if you're trying to bring it and use it as like a restraining device or anything. So just to be on the safe side, just don't bring it. <laughs> um, third thing on the list is marijuana. And then it says, including marijuana in rich products or any illegal substance. Uh, so drugs, don't bring drugs, uh, illegal drugs anyways. And then I, I know marijuana is not illegal in California, but just don't bring it. They don't allow it here at the park. Um, and then as far as like marijuana and rich products, I saw a lady come with like a cream and I think it was like a like a hemp cream or, or I think it had like a, a CBD in it. Don't bring any of that either because I did see them tell the lady to throw it away or take it back to her car. She ended up just, you know, giving it to the security officer and they threw it away or whatever, whatever they do with it. So the fourth thing on the list is objects or toys that appear to be firearms or weapons. Now this one's a little, I don't know, I think it's a little uh, confusing just because like they sell weapons here, like lightsaber, they sell foam swords, they sell blasters, you know, they sell stuff like that here, so it's kind of, I don't know, that one's a little funny, but I guess don't bring it, but you can buy it here. <laughs> um, and then that also goes for like BB guns and then like cap guns and stuff like that. Just don't bring it again, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, because the last thing you want to do is park at the structure, go down through security, and then have them tell you to go back and put it away. At that point, you're just gonna like wanna throw it away and then you're gonna be angry or you're gonna be like kind of confrontational with the security officer even though it is in the, in the rules on the website. So again, just just be safe, don't bring it. <laughs> Save some time when you're here at the park because when you guys come here, you guys want it to be like just smooth and like just simple. Like you don't wanna go through any hassle when you're here because it's already confusing enough. So just to make it easier on yourself, just, just don't bring any of that stuff that I've already named or listed so far. And so the next thing on the list is fireworks or other similarly explosive and or flammable objects, smoke machines or fog machines. <laughs> I don't know why you would bring fireworks or smoke machines or fog machines, but don't bring it. They got fireworks here. Don't worry. You don't, you don't need to bring fireworks. They have some. <laughs> and then as far as fog machines, I don't know why you'd even need to bring fog machines here, but don't bring that either. Um, next thing is alcoholic beverages. Another thing where, you know, they have it here, so you don't need to bring it. Um, uh, except in the hotels of Disneyland Resort. So I guess you can take it to the hotel. You just can't bring it to the parks. And I think downtown Disney as well. But you can buy it here, they have you know alcohol here. So the only like exception is that like wine may be brought into the downtown Disney district to be consumed at select table service restaurants only. Corkage fees apply. I I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, another one is glass containers. Uh, excluding small containers such as baby food jars, except in the Disney Resort hotels. So you can't bring glass containers. Um, horns, whistles, large megaphones, or artificial noise makers, you can't bring any of that. Um, that's kind of funny though, because like, if you bring like a speaker, you know, I feel like they wouldn't tell you anything if you bring a speaker, like a small speaker, and or like, you know, your phone has a speaker, so like you can technically make noise with that, so I don't know, but again, just don't bring any of that. All right guys, sorry about that, we actually had to move, they were playing music in the background, it was super loud, so we, we came to another spot to film. But the next thing on the list is you can't bring recreational devices such as drones, remote control toys, skateboards, scooters, inline skates, bicycles, or shoes with built-in wheels. So I guess that's like heelys or skates and stuff like that. 
can't bring any of those. Um, drones. I would love to bring a drone here one day and get cool shots, but again, it's on the list. You can't do it. Uh, next up is strollers that are greater than 31 inches, 79 centimeters in width, and 52 inches, 132 centimeters in length. Um, I know people always ask about strollers, so that's what the measurements are. Can't bring anything. You can't bring anything bigger than that. Uh, wagons, including stroller wagons, you can't bring those either. Uh, any trail-like object that is pushed, pulled, or towed by an electric conveyance vehicle, wheelchair, stroller, or person. You also can bring wheeled mobility devices with less than three wheels or devices that cannot maintain stability and balance when stopped, unpowered, and or unoccupied. Training wheels and or modifications are not permitted. Devices must be manually or electrically powered and operated at, walk, at a walking pace. Um, devices should be single rider and not exceed 36 inches, 92 centimeters in width, and 52 inches or 132 centimeters in length. So another thing on the list is suitcases, bags, coolers, or backpacks with or without wheels, uh, larger than 24 inches long by 15 inches wide by 18 inches high, 61 centimeters by 38 centimeters by 46 centimeters are not allowed in any theme park. Loose or dry ice is not permitted in these containers. Reusable ice packs are recommended. So you can bring reusable ice packs, you just can't bring dry ice. Um, and then you can't bring suitcases, bags, coolers, backpacks, bigger than the measurements I just stated. Um, and the other thing you can't bring is folding chairs. Those are not allowed in any theme park or downtown Disney. And I have seen that before, like on days where we come like super early for like openings and stuff. Uh, people usually bring chairs because you know they, they, they camp outside on harbor or whatever at like 4 a.m. So you bring a chair because you don't stand the entire time. So once uh, once it's time to open up, they make you take those back to your car. So so just keep that in mind. Don't bring a folding chair because they'll make you take it back to your car or just throw it away. So the next one's kind of a big one. You can't bring selfie sticks, handheld extension poles for cameras or mobile devices. Flags and banners are not allowed in any theme park. Uh, this one's a big one because when you go through security here at, at the Disneyland Resort, they will ask you if uh, if you have a selfie stick or if your tripod extends. So, like for example, this Manfrotto uh, tripod, like this is completely okay. It uh, doesn't extend at all. It's a mini tripod. See, it doesn't extend at all. Um, there's a new gimbal called the uh, OM5, which is made by DJI. That one does extend, so that one is technically not allowed here. So if you have one of those, don't bring it. Um, cause you can bring gimbals, you just can't bring some that extend, you can't bring selfie sticks that extend, um, and then extension poles like I mentioned. Um, and then lastly, this one's kind of like, I don't know, this is kind of like a hit or miss type of thing cause it says you can't bring tripods or monopod stands that cannot fit inside a standard backpack or that extend over 6 feet or 182 centimeters are not allowed in any theme park. But it's funny cause like I have seen photographers bring, uh, uh, tripods before I've even brought a tripod before it doesn't like now it is a small enough tripod where like it, it fits on my backpack but it's not inside and on the rules it states that it has to fit inside basically and mine does not fit inside but it my, my backpack does have a spot to like strap a tripod on so again like some things are kind of like overlooked other things are you know yeah so again if you're gonna bring a tripod make sure you can either hang it on your backpack so it's small enough and it folds up compact enough for that. Uh, if not, just don't even bring it because they'll probably make you take it back to your car. And on the bottom it just says, we reserve the right to prohibit the use or storage of any other item not listed above that we determine may be harmful or disruptive in our sole and absolute discretion. So, so because on this list, it doesn't mean they can't tell you to put it back to your car. So just a heads up. A good example would be like, you can bring a camera, but you can't bring a super expensive camera. Like. Uh, security actually told me one time that like if you have like professional grade like equipment you can't bring it in like expensive lenses are like like you know, like ten thousand dollars or whatever or like uh, expensive cameras are like twenty thousand dollars you can't bring that in here because it's considered professional equipment and they, they just don't allow you that here but you should be fine if you bring like you know a, a digital camera or or like me I use a, a mirrorless uh, Sony camera that's perfectly fine um, but if you bring professional grade equipment just yeah, again, don't bother because they'll probably make you take it back to your car. So something that's not listed is that you can technically bring cigarettes and then like uh, Nick was mentioning right now, you can bring a vape pen, 
The only thing you can't do is use it here. They don't allow smoking at the Disneyland Resort anymore. So you'd have to like go off property like on Harbor Boulevard or just anywhere off property to smoke. So something I get asked a lot about is if you can bring food here and you definitely can. You can pack your lunch. You don't have to spend a cent here, <laughs> technically. You can bring a pack of water if you want. Um, it's completely up to you. You can bring your own water, drinks. You can bring, uh, as long as you're not alcoholic, uh, you can bring your own food, pack your lunches, like I said, and um, you're perfectly fine. You don't have to technically eat, you know, the park food if you don't want to. But anyways, if you guys have any more questions on like what you can and can't bring, make sure to leave me a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer it. Uh, but anyways, thank you for the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.